Hello friends, let's continue our discussion on UPSC Assistant Chemist Examination. 11 questions came from coal analysis topic. The first question is the overall reaction for formation of coal from wood according to Reynold. Answer to this question is option A. Cellulose will be converted into bituminous coal. In this process, cellulose will go through peat and lignite. Ultimately, bituminous coal will be converted into anthracite. During this process, volatiles such as methane, carbon dioxide and water will be eliminated. The second question is, which of the following coal can be converted into coke? Answer to this question, question is bituminous coal. Usually high grade bituminous coal is converted into coke. The next question is, which of the following is a good quality of coal on the basis of carbon percentage and calorific value. I have discussed in the first question, cellulose or wood will ultimately converted into anthracite. It is the highest rank coal available. So answer is anthracite. The next question is what parameters can be determined by ultimate analysis of coal. The ultimate analysis of coal measures percentage carbon, percentage hydrogen, percentage nitrogen, percentage sulfur and percentage oxygen. Carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen and sulfur are calculated directly whereas Oxygen percentage is calculated indirectly. Answer to this question is option D. The period when coal gets dried and its volatile matter burned is. The answer is primary combustion period of coal. Coal combustion takes place in two steps. First step is known as primary combustion in which volatile matter is burned and it leads to formation of coke. The formation of coke is known as primary combustion period and then coke will be converted into carbon dioxide. It is known as secondary combustion. Which one of the following represents carbonization of coal? Answer is option D. Conversion of coal into coke in the absence of air is known as carbonization of coal. If we heat coal in the presence of air, it will be converted into carbon dioxide. So for converting coal into coke, we have to heat the coal in the absence of air. Heterogeneous combustion of carbon is an example of answer is chemisorption or desorption process. Heterogeneous combustion means combustion of carbon in the presence of heterogeneous catalyst. In this process, oxygen molecule will chemically bind to carbon surface and ultimately CO2 will be eliminated from the surface. The coking property of coal can be measured by Gray King assay test. Bomb calorimeter is used to measure calorific value. Ash fusibility is used to test the quality of ash. Answer to this question is option B. What type of gases 
are analyzed by RSAT flue gas apparatus. RSAT flue gas apparatus measures CO2, O2 and carbon monoxide. It also analyzes nitrogen indirectly. So the answer is option A. Which instrument can be used to determine the percentage of CO2, O2 and carbon monoxide? So the answer is RSAT apparatus. If you would have observed it in the question paper, you would have guessed two questions easily. Actually, they asked the same question in two ways. Which one of the following direct methods is used to convert solid coal into gasoline? Solid coal can be converted into liquid fuel in two ways. One is known as direct liquefaction and another one is known as indirect liquefaction. So answer is Bergius method which is a direct liquefaction of coal. In this process, carbon is heated in the presence of hydrogen and it will be converted into gasoline. Thank you for watching the video.